Yo, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Just got off work. Finished my workout. Got on my post workout attire. All right. This video is for people who are leaning towards getting off meat, straddling the fence, having thoughts about getting off meat, you're oscillating back and forth. Should I? Should I not? Um. I understand what you're going through and let me give you something from my personal journey and it may help you. So this video is for people that straddle on the fence, that's oscillating back and forth. If you still are eating meat, you have no plans of giving up the pork, the chicken, that red meat, go ahead and get your burger and go find you something else to watch because this show is not for you. Okay, so check it out. I used to be where you're at right now. If you're isolating, you're you know going back and forth. Should I? Should I not? Um, it's difficult for you. Let me help you out. Okay. Um, me personally, I've been off meat for a long time now. But before I got off meat, like completely, it took me a uh, some time. Um, I don't like the term baby steps. I don't like that shit. We're adults, we take adult steps. But what I did was this. I would tell myself, you know what? I'm gonna go a day without me. Like if it's Sunday, I'd say, self, on Monday, don't eat no meat, right? And so Sunday night will come Finish up my last little chicken. Monday morning, no meat. And it will be tough at first. I might go breakfast with no meat, lunch with no meat, dinner time come, I'm eating meat again. And I just told myself no meat on Monday. But I was observing my thoughts and my desires during that time and I would realize, hold on, if I can get through lunch and breakfast with no meat what is it about dinner time that makes me think that i have to have meat that makes me what what made me give in and so i had to change my mindset because in my mind i was thinking well if you don't have any meat you're not going to be full that wasn't my thought and so what i did was this i said you know what meat doesn't mean full Meat doesn't equate to having a uh, nutritious meal. So I had to keep telling myself that, and then I had to find a substitute. I said, I told myself, okay, what self, what can you eat at night in place of meat? You still feel fulfilled, but you know, um, there's no meat. I said, aha, french fries. I eat some fucking french fries. So I started going a day um, without meat. So that Monday, I would, once I substituted that meat for french fries, I would go one whole day without any meat. That was my, my foray, if you will, into, into where I'm at now. So then, once I mastered picking one day out the week to don't eat meat, I started to choose three days all right so instead of going one day then three days out of the week i wouldn't eat meat and then that transitioned to the work week and only meat on the weekends and then that went into well i'm just gonna just just like i said just eat meat on the weekend period and then during that time i was finding things to eat throughout the day at night, I was still feel full. I, uh, I still have my energy, but I wasn't eating meat, and so I had to find that out for myself. But more importantly, it was this: it was the mindset, it was um, the mentality that I had to give myself. It was the reprogramming of what I was taught. Because you know they'll tell you in the school, "Oh, you have to have meat." Yeah, because that's the big protein. What they don't tell you is that's animal protein. And that's their diet. Our diet, we come from a plant-based, uh, plant protein diet. 
that's not our way. The way we were taught in schools, that's not our schools, that's not our way. We didn't build pyramids eating chicken, eating burgers, eating pork chops. Um, so anyway, ultimately, people, it was the mindset, but I picked one day to stop eating meat, and then one day turned into three days, and then three days turned into um, a week, and then now I just don't eat meat at all. I don't like it. Um, so you can do it. Now, will it be at easy for you? Uh, it might be easy for some, and for others, maybe not so much. It's different. Everybody's mindset is different. Some people, and I'm going to be honest, some people will never, ever give up the meat, no matter how much information they read, no matter how many people tell them what's wrong with the meat, no matter how many times they see news reports about the issues with meat, some people will always eat meat because they are addicted and they cannot give up that dope fiend diet. And that's what it is, people. We have a dope fiend diet. The, the majority of foods, especially sold in stores, if read those ingredients. Those ingredients, those processed foods, processed foods um, are pretty much formulated to make you crave and want that. That's exactly what a drug is. You, a crack addict, they smoke crack, they're gonna crave and want that crack. Same thing with food. The same scientists that made crack is the same scientists, meaning mindset, curriculum, same scientists that made the processed foods and the meats. That's why you call it comfort food. You gotta have it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not hard. It's a mindset. And for people that really want to do it, and if you feel like you need some help, surround yourself with people that don't eat meat. If you're around people that's always eat meat, always want to go out and get some wings, wings and things and all that, leave them Negroes alone. Find some people that's going to support you in your journey. You understand? But if I can do it, shh, you can do it. And lastly, I've noticed a huge, huge difference. I love the benefits of, of not eating meat. This is why I'm not going back. This is what y'all need to get. I have way more energy. Like, that's just true. Because I, I would hear that a lot when I was eating my chicken days and all that. I would always say you have more energy, you lose weight and all that. And that, all that's true. I'm, I'm more leaner, I'm lean. Uh, the energy aspect of it is true. I go to bed between 9, 10 o'clock. I wake up at 1.30, 1.45, between 1.30, no later than 2 a.m. in the morning, hype, ready to work, ready to go do something, I work out. Like, I'll work out, I'll get up 1.30, between 1.30 and 2 a.m., work out, an intense workout, and go work a, a nine hour, nine and a half hour day, and come back home and work out again, and still fulfill my roles successfully as a husband, to, to my knowledge, anyway, to my definition, as a husband, as a father, son, every other role that I am. But you are, you read me, you let me know. If I'm doing something wrong, tell me. But to my knowledge, hey, I think I would like, I would like to call myself um, somewhat hitting the marks. Got a long way to go. But back to my point, it is not difficult to go without me. It's not hard. It's not hard. Trust me. And you're going to be thankful. Once you hit, I tell you what, once you get to your first 30 days, you made it. If you can go 30 days without eating meat, man, welcome to the club. You will be initiated and you won't go back. No, you won't. Get off that meat. And then once you get off, um, Share information with other people. Get some other people you love. Share it. Now, I'm going to tell you. You, can, you might get a bash. It might look at you funny. It might think you're a know-it-all. Fuck that. You love them, and you want to share information that's going to save them. All right? So, don't concern yourself with what... Don't concern yourself with the backlash. You're going to get it. Trust me. I get it all the time. And I don't care because... If I tell you something, 
It's coming from my heart. If I share some information about health, it's because I love you and I want all of us to be here for our families, okay? Hold it down. Uh, go enjoy your evening. I am.